So wouldn't you like to be a bug on the wall when the CIA and the FBI and the NSA and the rest of the swamp uh, comes up with these stories? Right. So the gaslighting continues. You know, back in 2016, we, you know, when when the idea that that uh, the DNC was hacked by Russia. It was a joke because the people that were paying attention knew that it wasn't a, a hack at all, but it was a leak. <laughs> See, the DNC has us, they have us in a loop. We keep talking about the same thing so that uh, that the story changes as time goes on. See, that's the strategy. It's a, it's a gaslighting campaign where you tell a lie and then when the lie sticks whole or in part, you double down on the lie and you add another part to the lie, right? That's, that's the, the art of gaslighting. So the latest gaslighting comes from us as a, a gift from the Washington Post. I, I, think, I believe the Washington Post started the, um, started the campaign, but this is, this is coming directly from the uh, chairman, Tommy the Tool, Tommy the Tool Perez, who uh, took over for... Brazil and Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and you remember that that they had a rigged, they had a rigged DNC election to uh, to to get him instead of Keith Ellison, and all the all the liberal the liberal progressives were protesting. Oh, Tom Perez is an establishment candidate, and then and then they just fell in line behind the guy. So so here's the latest, right? There's a whole ugly story surrounding it, but. So the latest is that uh, the DNC, under Tommy the Tool Perez, uh, sues Trump, WikiLeaks, Russia, and a few others for the 2016 Clinton loss. Right. So they're suing, right? DNC, see, there's a, there's already a lawsuit, and there's the, down in Florida, the uh, Becks have. Jared and Elizabeth Beck have ha, had have already launched a lawsuit exposing the fraud that occurred in the 2016 election, where Bernie Sanders was cheated across the board, and uh, the establishment leaned on Hillary Clinton. We saw exit polls not matching. We saw uh, massive uh, verdict, voter purges. Uh, people being purged off the voter rolls, on and on and on. There's a, a, a mountain, a mountain of evidence to suggest that the DNC cheated. And in their own admission, they say, well, they're not, so they're not obligated to tell the truth and hold free and fair elections. So, so we already know that. So what's, the, what's the, the, the counter to that, the counter to that very powerful bit of evidence Right? When the, ev the evidence, see, they don't do evidence anymore, but th when there's that mountain of evidence, they have to throw some bullshit story and see if it try to unwind that story. So it would be interesting. I mean, if you ever in someone, th there's definitely like think tanks that sit around and try to, they, they look at a weakness and say, okay, well, the DNC fraud lawsuit in Florida is very, very powerful and very damning. And millions and millions of people have followed it and, 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 and uh, conclude that the DNC did in fact cheat. So now they have to come up with a bullshit story <clears throat> to unwind it, and this is how they're going to do it. Firstly, it's released through the, the Washington Post. Now, the Washington Post is owned by Amazon, right? Jeff Bezos, right? He's the, he's the owner. He owns the newspaper, right? And 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 to to boot, the FBI, uh, not the FBI, but but Bezos has a six hundred million dollar cloud computing deal with the CIA. So the CIA is a sponsor. Of the Washington Post, they also John Podesta, the the, the guy that the, the creep of all creeps, the guy who was rigging the election for Hillary Clinton inside the campaign, is on the he's a, he's a he's a contributing writer or editor or some shit. He's hired by the Washington Post, so they're all on the payroll, right? So what's the story? Democrat Party sues Donald Trump's presidential campaign, Russia WikiLeaks, and Trump's son. This is from the Washington Post and Trump's son-in-law. Friday, accusing them of an intricate conspiracy to undercut Democrats in the 2016 election by stealing tens of thousands of emails and documents. See, that's what they want you to believe. They want you to believe that that these documents were stolen, but they don't want you to look at what the documents actually say, which exposes mass rigging, mass 
quid pro quo where they were taking money from foreign governments in in forms of you know campaign contributions or uh, uh, you know deposits into a, cl a fake cl the Clinton Foundation you know it's supposed to be for humanitarian efforts yeah right right so they so that's what the the that's what WikiLeaks exposed WikiLeaks is a journal it's it's journalism it's he's a publisher Julian Assange and the rest of them it's it's a it's a it's a you know it's journalism and they're attacking this you can't sue the press right so it's a it's a bogus lawsuit but can they win of course they can win of course they can win why because the lawsuit is filed in Manhattan federal court <laughs> <laughs> the Southern District of Manhattan. Right? So, this is where all the slime. This is this is slime capital of the uh, you know the universe, right? So, all they need is one stupid you know one one judge on the take, and they'll get their lawsuit, and they'll get all the, the you know the whole. It's not a fair. It's not a fair process, right? So the, the oligarchy. They look. They own the. They own the paper that released it. They own Tommy the Tool, the guy that's out in front of the cameras. He's Tom Thomas Tom Perez is on NBC, CNN, M MSNBC. He's doing the whole circuit telling the same lie over and over again, right? That uh, during the 2016 Tom Perez during the 2016 presidential campaign, Russia launched an all-out assault on our democracy, and it found a willing and active partner in Donald Trump's campaign. DNC Chairman Tom Perez said in a statement. He called it an act of unprecedented treachery. <laughs> this guy's a jack off. But it, it's um, this is gaslighting. So in you know again, you got to roll it back. 2016, we saw the mass cheating against Bernie Sanders in favor of Hillary Clinton. We saw uh, you know uh, people that part that participated directly that uh, were at the DNC convention down in Philadelphia. They were they were abused they were literally when they got up to go to the bathroom the dnc had paid actors they had they had they had a whole staff of people and it's documented there's evidence of it they had they were actually taking out ads in craigslist to get bodies to fill the seats of the bernie delegates when they got up you know they were because they were in the crowd you know protesting on in front of the cameras you can't have that right it's because because the shit is rigged right you lost <laughs> You you quote lost so get get out right so as they they were as as the the uh, the convention wore to the end they were slowly eliminating this anybody who who uh, had a sign that said Bernie or DNC cheated or any of that stuff right so they started weeding them out and that's all that's all documented it's you can look at the the videos on YouTube there's people that were there you know a lot of, a lot of uh, and you know. Tens of thousands of people witnessed it. That's evidence of, of uh, election rigging. So, but nonetheless, Tom Perez is on TV saying Russia did it, right? And they always say, well, a foreign country, a foreign country intervened in a hostile foreign country. No, Russia's not a, it is a foreign country and it is, you know, it's, it's not a hostile nation and they had absolutely nothing to do with the, the thing that they're being accused of doing, right, which is interfering in a in a uh, in our in our election, right? Opinion is one thing, but they're saying that that there's a direct Perez is trying to say that there's a direct link. They hacked the DNC. They didn't hack the DNC. We know that. If they would have hacked the DNC, the DNC would have called the FBI, and we would have had ev evidence of that. Instead, they called a, a, an outside firm, CrowdStrike, to come in. And create this bullshit story about some Guccifer guy. You know, it was all bullshit, right? It's a leak, right? Somebody inside the DNC took Podesta's emails and threw it out at WikiLeaks, a publisher, right? Because they're, they're, they're one of the few honest brokers left. You can't give it to CNN because they'll, they'll say, okay, look, we have this evidence. And then they'll turn to the DNC and say, okay, give us uh, $5 million and we'll make the evidence go away. And, you know, that's, that's how the, the game is played. So... Now, Trump is making a tactical error here, right? The Democrats, I'm just going to read on. The Democrats accused Trump and his associates of trading on pre-existing relationships with Russian oligarchs tied to President Vladimir Putin and of collaborating with Russia as it worked to undermine Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton. 
it's it's a fantasy. It's it's like this it's this fantasy football that you have to find the enemy when you're caught, right? And you, and they they they're so invested. They're probably invested in you know a thousand hours on all, all the major networks promoting this this false story. This is demo- this is a democracy that that the, one of the saddest. I'll divert. Well, I'll I'll digress. One of the saddest parts of this is that there's a lot of smart. Um, semi-awake people in the quote-unquote progressive community that really care about the country. The people that supported Bernie Sanders are passionate. They're not Democrats. They're not Republicans. They're, they're, not, they're, they're no, of, of no political party. They want to see universal health care for all. They want to see a, a uh, you know, no more wars. They want to see college tuition free at state universities and city universities. They want to see a... Um, you know, a Green New Deal. They want to see the corruption in Washington go away, right? Politicians taking the money. They want our politicians to answer to the people and not the this, uh, you know, 1% or 5% or whatever it is, the oligarchy doing their work and not the people's work. That's what they want to see. But instead, you, you don't you don't get that. They, they don't get that. It's they, but they believe... In their heart of hearts, that they're going to turn the Democratic Party around, and the Democratic Party is going to come to heel, and they're going to come come and listen to reason, and and it's just not the case. You know, it it won't be the case because it's about the money. Tom Perez is getting millions and millions of dollars to go on TV and spew his nonsense. Does he believe it? It doesn't matter if he believes it or not. He's saying it, right? They cut they they chopped your guy Keith Ellison out. Got him out of the picture, right? That's how politics works, right? So they got it, they got their tool in place. And this guy's on TV. And if you get behind the Democratic Party in any form at all, you're you're directly you're in collusion. Right? You're you're in, in bed with the Democratic Party and this fake story. So to all the, you know, to, 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 you know, the do gooders to think that they that think that they're gonna run in the Democratic Party. And somehow they're gonna, you know, they're gonna flip the script in in Washington. Or in, it, it, I'm telling you, it's a, it's fantasy football. Right? I want to talk about what Trump said. Trump himself tweeted that the DNC lawsuit would be very good news, saying his campaign will now counter the DNC counter for the DNC server that they refused to give to the FBI, as well as Clinton's emails. <clears throat> Trump also talked about the mystery man and in, in, uh, the the Pakistani mystery man. That's that's Imran Awan, President Trump. Maybe you should maybe mention, say his name. Imran Awan is a guy hired by the Clint, uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz in D.C. and he was the IT guy in D.C. And there's direct quid pro quo how they were stealing the information out of Congress using Blackberries and they were they were, it's. There's no, there's no concrete evidence because the FBI seized all of the black, the blackberries that they were using in the computer server. But the evidence exists, and the FBI has it. It's just that they won't, they won't release it to the public, right? So the mystery man that Trump is talking about is in fact Imran Awan, and is in fact a valid part of this. And that is where your selling of state secrets occurred. That's where your colluding with foreign entities and selling off United States secrets occurred. Not, not, not some bullshit story about uh, uh, Russians coming in and, 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 and uh, hacking a computer system for, for, for DNC. And DNC always says, oh, well, the DNC is not a government agency. But then when they're caught, you know, now it's a government agency. They always they, they keep changing the meanings of the words. But I think Trump has to be careful in this sense that he's... Don't think for a second that because you're the president and because what they're going to do is in, in the Southern District of Manhattan, they're going to rig that they're going to rig that court, that judge. And it becomes very hard for you to do anything about it because with the, the Democrats will claim, oh, there's now there's there's freedom and democracy and a separation between uh, uh, the judicial system and the, the, the court system. 
right? The judicial system and the executive branch, right? Now there's separation, right? So the Democrats will interfere with that judge's decision. Trump's ability to 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 uh, to get a fair a fair trial in that. So again, you got to be you got to be very careful because the table is is entirely rigged against this uh, presidential establishment and the people. Right. So it it is that that's what I'm trying to say is Trump's got to be careful. Trump has to be careful that the, the Democrats are not. It's not very good news, is what I'm trying to say. So, so just to sum this up, there's all kinds of you can you can you can watch, you know, Tom Perez go round the clock on this, and uh, there there it's it's gaslighting. It's what I've said. I said it early. I said it over a year ago that that the gaslighting campaign is is very similar to what the Nazis the Nazi Germans did, where you tell a lie. And then you keep repeating the lie, and then people start to believe pieces of it, right? And then you add to the lie, and you 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 know, and you try to 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 hide the truth, right? And this is how they're doing it. So this is the latest bit of uh, insanity. It's it's really troubled times. I mean, it really this is um, this is beyond the pale of uh, when when you watch it, and you watch a guy like Tom Perez come out based on what you know like you know if you like in Nevada when they when they rigged that that uh, caucus against Bernie Sanders I mean people that were paying it were in Arizona where they shut 70 percent of the polls down and then they called the election for Hillary Clinton while Bernie Sanders supporters were still online voting you know there's so much evidence to suggest that the DNC rigged the election. And here they are trying to say that Russia did it, a foreign entity, while all along the DNC takes money through the Clinton Foundation and all that Saudi money and all that, all that, all that, uh, you know, money, two billion, three billion, five billion, we don't even know how much money was flowing into the Clinton Foundation and it was dispersing down the ranks through the DNC. Shh. It's hush money. It's just take the money and, and vote, right? This is our political crisis. This is our constitutional crisis where there's no separation between money and state. Right? Everything is, it's all pay for play now. And they're all in on it, right? All your, your 100 senators, your 300 or 400 House of Representatives. I don't even know. I don't even know how many there are. There's a lot of them, right? So there's four or 500 people elected officials, governors and stuff, uh, all on the take. How do we get rid of them? Could you imagine, again, vision for you, vision for you, right? You had people like myself or, or people that, that, that see the facts and would go into the Senate and simply vote in favor of the people. Universal health care, yes, check it off, right? If you have 100 people in the room that say yes, based on 70% of the population that wants something like universal health care for all, it would get passed in a minute, and then the, 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 the wheels would start to turn to make it happen, right? It, it becomes law, right? But you can't do that because of, because, of the, uh, because of the gridlock and the greed inside Washington, D.C. And it's not going away. Anybody who thinks that, that it's going away, well, show me the evidence. The evidence is that the DNC is now doubling down on the lie, right? They're using Jeff Bezos, the Washington Post, they're using Tom Perez. They're using, you know, Podesta inside the Washington Post to come up with these stupid stories and sell it to the people. And most people, you know, people believe it. They still believe what they see on CNN. They watch it and they say, well, is it that bad? Could it, are they really lying? I don't believe you that they're lying. Because if they're lying, then, then, then we really don't have a democracy, right? Then this is really... It, if they're lying, then... The, then, then there is no democracy. That America is just a fraud and a fake, and and we've been we've been hijacked, because that is the reality, and that is a it's a hard reality to swallow. I get that. I get that. I get that when I see people, and I talk about it with someone that doesn't see the depth of the corruption, hasn't been following the story independently, but rather following it through the 
the the pay for play media, right? It's not media. It's not you can't call it you can't call the Washington Post news anymore. The Washington Post is by definition state run media. They if you follow the money, right? So when you talk to people like that, you, you feel you feel this I feel empathy. I used to feel anger. Now I just feel like, well, yeah, it really is that bad. You know, it really is. It really, the situation really has gotten that bad. So I've gone on a, a little too long on this, but uh, my name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter, and uh, candidate for the United States Senate. Peace out.